Hi guys, just want to give an update regarding the current situation in the ESO. It's already November. Last month, I told you that Red Cross have stopped swab test in AEA, so Philhealth already paid half of the debt. It was 1 billion peso, they already paid 500 million, so it's down to 500 million. And the Red Cross decided to conduct the swab test again, I don't know for how long. Currently, they have 30,000 test kits. Once the 30,000 test kits are finished, maybe or maybe not, they're going to buy again from China. But currently, the latest update, they're already there in the year conducting swab test. Although, the results are not released through Red Cross. The results are, uh, I mean, the specimens are being tested by the government laboratories. So we all know, as I have said in my previous video, the government laboratory, sometimes they're transporting it to the provinces. So it's a little bit delayed. But they promised this man that his result will be released the next day. He is an OFW and he paid 3500 for his swab test. Actually, guys, he has this OFW ATM. You know that can buy an ATM where you can deposit or save money while abroad, but you cannot use the ATM abroad, and you can use it here in the Philippines. So he was not able to use that ATM in the airport because the Kabayan ATM or the OFW ATM, you have to go to the bank first and um, conduct some procedures. They're going to open the ATM here before you can use it. So you cannot use it, guys, to pay the swab test because you have to go to the bank first so this guy he doesn't have any cash and i think he doesn't have any credit card so he contacted his wife and his wife was the one who paid for his swab test his wife was in bulacan when you go to the website of the philippine coast guard there are options there there is a like walk-in swab test there is a prepaid swab test so you can also see there the rates and you can also see the waiting time the one he availed is the two days waiting period so his result will be released probably tomorrow so he has one or two days of waiting time or one day waiting time he paid 3500 he is an ofw and his wife paid for his swab test his wife is in bulacan so there are three modes of payment j uh there is what you call the bdo and then um, paymaya and then there is another one um gcash so if you don't have any money with you you can contact your relatives so you so they can pay for you or for your swab test or you can also pay through credit card and if you don't have a local currency you can change the money and then you can pay uh, with the local currency the prepaid swab test is payable through credit card so guys what i'm saying here is only the swab test so some of w's they don't like the free swab test because it takes time to be released so they are uh, want to avail of the paid swab test and then they only have to wait maximum of 24 hours and then the result will be released i received some messages that they already paid 4500 they are non ofws but it took them three days or more before they, re they received the result so you better be careful guys there are still private companies in the airport conducting swab tests. So, if you want to avail of the cheaper private swab test, I suggest you just talk to the Red Cross because the Red Cross, for none of W's, you only have to pay 4000 So, it's only for the swab test. The hotel accommodation and the transportation are not included. There are companies in the airport conducting swab test where... They charge higher and then they're going to book you in a hotel and then they're going to 
book taxi for you. So, it's a package deal. Sometimes, it costs 9000 But, guys, I cannot guarantee you that the results will be released the next day. So, there are instances that you have to wait. For some reasons, I don't know, maybe you get scammed or not. Or maybe it depends on the flow of the passengers. If there are more passengers, then there are um, chances that your results will be delayed. But if there are very few passengers, naturally they are not going to delay the result because they are not testing a lot of people. So this guy is working for the um, Red Cross and then uh, he's trying to explain the benefits of the prepaid and the walk-in paid swab test. So the result will be then released the next day. There is a woman here who wants to be swabbed and then the result will be released also the next day. So her her husband have died and then he wants an urgent result. So she availed of the paid swab test for OFW. So even if you're an OFW, you can avail of the paid swab test, which is 3500 This is all for the day, guys. Thank you for watching.